I've just received this uh, LED driver and it's described as a 5 watt 1 amp LED driver and you can see on the chip that it uses the MBI 6651 driver chip. Now the only 5 watt LED I've got is this type which has 4 uh, 1 watt, it's really a 4 watt LED I suppose, but you can probably overdrive this a bit because there's a fair bit of metal work on there, but they're 4 1 watt LEDs in a 2 by 2 matrix. Now that's going to take about 660 milliamps. Let's have a look at the spec for this thing. So this is the item, so let's just click through. Um, and the spec for this is well, 700 milliamps they're saying, so they're saying we can drive each column at 350 milliamps. But that's not one amp. One amp's going to be too much for this thing. So what's the 5 watt, one amp LED that they're talking about? So here it is. This is uh, a 5 watt, 1000 milliamp uh, star LED mounted on one of these star shaped boards. Now I've got one watt uh, versions of these and they run at about 330, 350 milliamps, and the 3 watt versions are rated at 700 milliamps. But I've not seen this 5 watt version before, which will take a whole 1 amp. Let's have a look at the data for that. Now, what's a bit strange here is that you can see that it says forward current 1000 milliamps, forward voltage 3.2 to 3.5 volts. Well, watts is volts times amps. I'm not quite sure how you get 5 by multiplying 3 point something by effectively 1. But anyway, that's the LED that this driver is intended to drive. Now interestingly, this 10 watt LED, the one on the left, um, which has a, a 3 by 3 matrix of LEDs, so 9 1 watt LEDs, again we can overdrive it a little bit, um, each column of LEDs takes about 330 milliamps. So with three of them, that's going to take one amp. So the question is, would this five watt, one amp LED driver drive this 10 watt LED? I think I'm going to give it a try. So that's the uh, 10 watt LED attached to the uh, driver's output terminals and a 2.1 millimeter connector on the input. Let's put some power on it. And that seems to be working fine. Uh, that LED will be getting hot, so I'm not going to leave it on too long. Let's see how hot it is getting. Right, now that 10 watt LED is extremely hot. But the driver board, that's not hot at all. So the 5 watt driver is perfectly capable of driving a 10 watt LED. So I think we're going to have to just forget this 5 watt thing and see how far we can push this driver um, beyond 10 watts. I think it's time to look at the data sheet for the chip. So here it is, it's the MacroBlock MBI6651. Now the spec is uh, 1 amp constant output current. That's the maximum uh, is 1 amp. So the driver board is running the chip at its maximum. Up to 96% efficiency. Uh, it's got a 9 to 36 volt input voltage range. Uh, all sorts of um, protections, thermal, under voltage, startup, LED, open and short circuit, and requires only four external components. Now there are three package types, the GSD, which is a TO2525 pin. Uh, there's a SOT23, which they call a GST, six pin SOT23, and there's also an MSOP. Um, I don't think that's mini, I think that's macro or big. It's a big small outline chip, 8-pin, uh, and they call that the GMS. And uh, just because I was intrigued, I looked up MSOP, and it is a mini small outline package, so I assume it's uh, smaller than the standard uh, SOP uh, small outline package. Now, nowhere in this data sheet can I find anything about maximum power. Uh, in other words, the maximum watts. And I suppose that's because power on the output device, the LED, um, is totally different to power dissipated in the chip. And if you look at um, the first set of graphs, they're all about efficiency. 
So what we could say is that in this uh, LED setup, if that 10 watt LED were running at say 90% efficiency and dissipating 10 watts, then the chip would itself be dissipating one watt. And so the question is, can that chip dissipate one watt and stay cool enough to not destroy itself? Now it all starts getting quite complicated here. There's a table here of thermal resistances but it says on four layer PCBs and these are measured in degrees centigrade per watt. Now I don't think this is a four layer PCB, uh, it looks like a two layer. There are some thermal vias there near the chip. There don't appear to be any underneath the chip. There's a fair bit of copper on the back but um, so I don't think I can use any of the data in this table because I don't have a four layer PCB. I think this basically is going to have to be done by trial and error. So I'm kind of wondering, I wonder if this driver would actually drive a 20 watt LED. Now you can see that the 20 watt LED has two columns of uh, LEDs and I've written on there 700 milliamps um, and actually that's the same as the little 5 watt LED I've got. So what I really want to do is modify this driver board so that it will produce uh, 700 milliamps instead of 1 amp. And in order to do that, I need to look at these three uh, low value resistors um, there, R1, R2, and R3. Now in the data sheet, there's the section on setting output current. And the formula are quite simple. Uh, the current sense resistor value is 0.1 volts divided by the current you want coming out of this thing. And correspondingly, the current coming out is 0.1 divided by the resistor value. Uh, so you can probably just about see that the resistors are R300, which means that they're 0.3 ohms. Now they're all in parallel, so that gives us a 0.1 ohm resistor. So that makes the formula very simple. It's 0.1 divided by 0.1, which is 1 amp. So in order to uh, reduce that to uh, 660 milliamps, I could simply remove one of those resistors. So I'm going to get the soldering iron out. So it was a little bit fiddly, but I've managed to remove one of the uh, 0.3 ohm resistors. So now this has been converted for 660 milliamps output, and I've attached my 5 watt LED. Let's give that a try. And that's working fine on the 5 watt LED. So now the question is, will it drive the 20 watt LED? Now, this is the seller's listing for this uh, one watt LED driver. And if you scroll down, actually it's not quite the same, this one, um, because this one uses the, uh, if you look at the back of the board, this one uses the MSOP chip. But anyway, um, what it says down here is number of LEDs allowed to be connected in series, eight max. So that's going to be a problem because the 20 watt LED that I want to drive has 10 LEDs in series. Now, nowhere on the data sheet does it actually mention the maximum number of LEDs you can have in series. Um, the, some of the efficiency graphs show go up to seven LEDs in series. And certainly the more LEDs you have, uh, the higher the efficiency goes. But the question is, can you have 10? Well, not according to the seller of the driver and the data sheet is a bit vague. So there's only one way to find out. So here it is on my project board. Um, I've put the LED on a heatsink because this 20 watt LED is gonna get very hot very quickly. And I'd like to leave it on for a reasonable amount of time to see if the driver gets hot. Now I've mounted that on fairly high pillars so I can get my finger underneath it so that I can test how hot it's getting. It's not very easy on the top because the um, electrolytic capacitors are kind of in the way. And I've also put a, a boost converter on there because to get the 32 or 33 volts for the LED, I'm going to have to put in, well, probably most of the maximum 36 volts on the input. Uh, of this driver, so I'm going to need uh, to boost my 12 volts coming in on these terminals up to uh, a suitable voltage to get this driver working. Right, let's plug it in and see if it works. 
Right, I've uh, run the boost converter up to 24 volts and the LED is just starting to come on. Now, at voltages below this, this chip is going to be seeing that LED as essentially not being there. So it's going to be using its LED open circuit protection. And I'm just hoping that the various protections, and there is a thermal protection as well, so if the chip gets too hot, it should just shut down. I'm hoping the uh, chip will just uh, survive um, running 20 watts simply because of all the protections. So let's um, take the voltage a bit higher. Now I haven't pre-tested this because if this thing does blow up I want to catch it on camera. Um, so let's push some power through this thing now. 27, 30 volts on the input and I'm waiting for that LED to just settle. Right, that seems to not be increasing in brightness now. So we do need about 34 volts on the input. Now it's dazzling me and the camera, so I'm going to put my welding glass over the LED. See if the LED is starting to warm the heatsink. It is, but it's going to take a while. And check the temperature of this board. And that's interesting because that's not getting warm at all. Nothing at all on there. So I'm going to leave it on for a bit. In fact, I might even push that voltage up a bit. Right, this has been on now for, well, a couple of minutes. Um, I've put 35 volts on the input. The LED heatsink is starting to get... Yeah, it's starting to get hot. But this board, interesting, doesn't seem to be particularly warm, although I've noticed it is getting warm over on this bottom right hand corner. And I think that's probably because that diode's getting warm. It's not sort of alarmingly hot. If I move my finger over a bit, I can't feel much warmth at all. So the chip seems fine. Incidentally, this is very, very bright. The welding glass uh, protects my eyes as well as the camera, but I think that's fine. That chip seems to be very well behaved. So it would seem that this uh, 5 watt driver is actually perfectly capable of driving a 20 watt LED with suitable modifications. I've uh, changed the current coming out of it. But that's quite an impressive chip, the MBI 6651.